this code lab, we're going to go through the process of setting up our Vestrum and the steps in installing and configuring Vestrum. So the first thing about Vestrum is that we need to find the documentation for Vestrum so we can just pull in this documentation and here we have a step-by-step -step instructions for installing and getting Westrom up and running so let's go ahead and follow those steps the first step is of course you need to have Z shell running so let's check our shell by saying echo dollar shell and that's Z shell. So now we can check the um, homebrew. So let's just say brew dash dash versions and we can run this command here to install homebrew. Uh, I already have it installed, so I'm not going to run it. The next step is to run the um, .z profile. And in our case, I have it in .profile. So if I check dot profile i have everything i need for my z shell to configure z shell and in the next step we install westrom so let's go ahead and do brew install dash dash cask westrom Now, the next step is to install git, which I already have installed, but that's the command. And here it says, completions have been installed to this. But the next step is to install the Meslo nerd font. So we can simply run this command. I already have that installed. The next step is to set up our .westrm Lua file. So I'm going to open the .westrm a file which I have here and I already have the file which I'll post in this video in the description. The next step is to add the configuration which we already have in our .westrm.lua file. We can now select a configure uh, color scheme. So here, our configured uh, color scheme can be Batman. So if I select um, Batman as a color scheme, I can just save that. The next step is to set up our cool night theme and so we can set these colors I already have these colors in my terminal or the uh, config file the next step is to install power level 10k so we save the file and install power level 10k the next step is to 
source the bar level 10k team which is this one and to put it in dot c shell rc dot cs hrc so here i can just double check if i already have the powershell power level 10k theme in my z shell rc and it seems i do not i can also check the z sh or dot profile file to see if i have it in dot profile and i can check if i have power level so it seems i have it in my dot profile here down here where i've sourced the z shell team and that was the same command as this one so um it seems i have that team being sourced so the next step is to check our uh p10k configuration so we can manually run this command to run the p10k configuration and the choices i'm going to select are yes for this one yes for this this says are you seeing an upward arrow and i'm not so i'll say no this asks if I'm seeing an upward arrow and I am, so I'll say yes. This says that I'm, uh, am I seeing a downward arrow pointing at one and I am, so I'll say yes. This says if I'm seeing the crosses and the icons, but there's no overlap, so I'll say yes. This asks for the character set, so I'll say Unicode. This says current time, so I can say 12 hour format. This says prompt height, so I'll say two. This asks for prompt connection, and I'll select dotted. This says prompt frame, uh, and I'll say left. This says connection and frame color, um, and I'll say black. This says prompt spacing, and I'll say sparse. This says icons, and I'll say many icons. This says prompt flow, and I'll say concise. This says enable transition prompt, and I'll say no. And you can select your own choices, but those are my choices. And here it asks for prompt mode, and I'll say verbose. And it asks if I should overwrite the dot p10k.c shell configuration and I'll say yes. So now that that configuration is saved, I can change the power level 10k dirt background and set it to zero. This is only for p10k rainbow style. So, uh, we don't aren't using rainbow so we'll let that be now this is the dot z shell configuration for the history completion so we'll just follow these steps in our dot z s h r c file and i already added the history setup here the next step is to add the um, codes for history search backward and history search forward. To do that, we can just um, do cat-v and then hit the up arrow and that gives us the character for up arrow and the down arrow and that gives us the character down arrow if I control C and then go back to our C shrc file i can set the key binding for 
up arrow and down arrow to history search backward and history search forward. And the next step is to install auto suggestions for Z Shell. So I can just say pro install Z Shell auto suggestions. I have already installed it, so I'll let that go. Um, I can source the auto suggestions uh, config to the .zshrc file like this. So essentially, this goes to the, this gets concatenated to the zshrc file, but we can just see if it's already in our zshellrc file. So we can go to the zshellrc and search for zshell suggestions, which already is there. Um, or it's actually Z shell auto suggestions dot Z shell, which is already there. Um, then we can source our Z shell RC. Uh, source Z shell RC, it should be fine. Now we can uh, install syntax highlighting. Uh, and that should be fine. And we can also ensure that the config for syntax highlighting is in our ZShellRC. So if we check the ZShellRC for syntax highlighting, it is in here. And now we can source ZShellRC. So, so far we're good. And the next steps are for ESA and Oxide. Uh, so as an oxide are replacements for LS and CD and their improvements on LS and CD. Now we won't cover setup of Tmux in this code lab, but uh, we can do it in a future one if there's a request for that. Uh, but thanks for watching and see you in the next one.